Hi everyone, today I got a really cool project for you. We're gonna make this awesome looking Bluetooth speaker from scratch with some really cheap parts and a broken home theater speaker. Links to all the parts will be in the video description. So let's get into it. We will start with our battery. I took mine from a battery bank. Disassemble it carefully and disconnect it from the PCB. We need to thin the plus and the minus and solder one wire to each one. In order to be able to charge it, we're gonna connect the TP4056 charger board, solder the positive wire to the positive battery in pin and the negative to the negative one. With this done, we are able to charge our battery, but we will need to add this micro USB female connector to be easier to mount it in the case later on. Solder the wires to the V bus and the GND pins. Now we need to connect it to our battery charger. Solder the GND to the negative and V bus to the positive pin. With this done, we finished our battery module. Now let's add the switch. I use a 3 position mini toggle switch, which you can find it very cheap on Amazon. First, add two wires to the positive and negative pin on the battery. Solder them in place and it should look like this. Now solder the positive wire to the middle pin of the switch. Add another piece of wire to the right pin. And now we will add the step up power booster. Solder the right pin from the switch to the positive pin on the power booster and the negative wire from the battery to the negative. Now our power delivery and charging unit are done, we can get to the next part which is preparing the speaker. I used mine from a retired home theater speaker, you can find one on eBay if you don't have some lying around. They are around 5 quid. For our Bluetooth receiver, we will use this audio receiver slash amp combo which I found on Amazon for just 4 pounds with free delivery. Solder the positive wire to the positive left pin on the receiver and the negative to the negative left pin. And our speaker and receiver are connected together and ready to be soldered to the power delivery. But first we have to regulate the voltage which is coming out from our battery. You will need a multimeter for that, connect it to the plus and the minus on the power boost and rotate the lever until you read 5 volts. Now all we have to do is to solder the positive out from the power booster to the 5 volts pin and the negative to the GND pin on the receiver. Let's test if it works. With that out of the way, we finished all the soldering and our Bluetooth speaker circuit is done. Let's start working on our case. I will use the case from the speaker I salvage, it comes from an old Samsung home theater speaker. You can do it your own or you can use an old one, is your choice. I took it apart and started to make clearance for the components. You can use a clamp or my favorite is a Dremel, it will make it a lot easier and faster. While we are at it, make a hole for our switch and do a test to see if everything fits fine. Next, let's prep the surface of the case. Sand it with the sandpaper until you are happy with the finish and give it a warm soapy water bath and leave it to dry. You should end up with a smooth surface perfect for it to get painted. Apply several coats of plastic primer, you are gonna make the paint to stuck to the plastic. Leave it to dry for a couple of hours and it should be ready for the next coat. Now let's take the cover from the old speaker and remove the mesh out of it. I added several coats of primer to it as well. Now let's get to the fun part. For the splatter effect, use a spray can cap and add paint into it. Next, just splash the paint out of the cup onto it. Firstly, try on a piece of paper different ratios of paint to see if you like the aspect. More paint inside the cup, bigger the splatter. After two clear coats, it should end up looking like this. Now let's get to the final assembly. Start by positioning your female USB connector and glue it in place. Now add the switch, I decided to paint mine, insert it into the hole and glue it in place. The same with our battery. Now redo the same connection we made earlier and tidy up the cables inside. Insert the remaining parts and close the case together. Let's make another sanity check and see if everything works perfectly. Bluetooth mode. The Bluetooth device is ready to help. With that done, let's wrap the fabric on our speaker grill. I did that by using super glue because in my case the staples were out of discussions and carefully glued every side in place. Do this carefully and don't glue the corners yet. This is important because we will gonna need to stretch them. We will do that by pulling the material and glue it in place while you hold the grip onto it. I did that on all corners, cut the excess material and ended up with this nice looking grill. Now just pop it in place and our speaker is done. 
I think it looks awesome. The splatter effect and the overall aspect it gives you the feeling that you bought it from a store. Now all that is left is connecting it to a phone and see how it sounds. Keep in mind that my microphone is not the best quality, so don't take it as a reference. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. And there you have it, we turn a broken speaker into a cool looking Bluetooth one. And the difference is astonishing. I think the picture speaks for themselves. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. And here we ended up this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see other videos like this one, have a look at some of my other ones. You're gonna find something you like. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.